Okay, so update. I am really disappointed in a lot of ways. Um, I just left my appointment with Dr. Arasso in Mountain View because I went in, you might see a, a noticeable difference in my face right now. I went in because I thought that I could get fillers under my eyes um, because I've been really unhappy with the dark circles that have been really have affected me all my life, but I feel like have gotten worse during COVID. Um, but he did this little technique with me and I took the makeup off on this side so you can see the difference that makeup makes. Um, and this is just clean beauty. This isn't like high powered stuff. So instead of getting the procedure, I ended up leaving with uh, a new cream called vitamin K. Um, it was $56 and it's a dark circle relief. He said it works on some people and some people it doesn't work at all, which I'm taking a gamble there. Um, but what he did was just kind of tighten up my skin and go like this. And he was like, are you happy with those results? I'm like, well, I mean, it kind of looks the same. He's like, yeah, you really have darkness underneath your skin. That's something you can't really remove. So the only way to treat it is with a cream or you can try, um, a, like laser, but nothing has been able to really treat under eye circles. There's that and uh, what is it called? It's like P, I don't want to say HPV, but it's PRP, PRP facials. He said that you could try it, but again, um, not going to work. He's like, if you did get fillers, like people, someone might recommend that I do get a filler, but it's going to make such a small difference that like, if you're okay with that 30% difference, um, then great. But it is something you get, it's expensive and you, it's hard to do in that area. And then you're getting it, um, all the time. I thought I was going to an appointment. I was going to get it. It was going to be good. I was going to be really happy. So I ended up getting, um, told the opposite. Um, but I do have an appointment for this guy, little boys and girls. If you get a facial piercing to be cool or to think whatever, that you are going to have it for the rest of your life, think again. It's worse than a tattoo because look at the line. Like he asked me if I was a smoker because it gives, it's, it's created this indent and I hate it. Unless I bring it up, like, most people don't ever say anything about it. Like, it's clearly a hole from a piercing. Um, it kind of goes away when I do that. But I'm going to get a scar. It's a scar. And I'm going to get a scar removal. So I have my instructions here for when I go back in. It's a minor surgery. $600. $600. If my piercing cost that when I got it, because it was probably cost me 100 plus the different metals that I bought over the years. I think it was 14 when I got this. It was probably like 80 bucks. Holy fuck. I would have never did it. You know, like if I would have known that it cost $600 to get this fixed, um, in six weeks of, I have to like get, um, they're suturing it like together. Like it's like an hour long surgery. And then like, just that is crazy ridiculous and I know family and friends other people who have gotten um like their earlobes done and like all this stuff like it's major like to get that and I wish I would have never done it um because looking back it didn't even look that cute I didn't even take a lot of pictures when I had it but it was just kind of ridiculous and so I have that appointment for like next week but anyways, um, I just figured I'd share that with you guys. Maybe it'll help somebody. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah.